salt, a commodity so precious in ancient times, it was worth its weight in gold. To the people of Ata, resident in the Greater Accra region, salt is simply white gold. In contemporary times, the surge of illegal, unregulated gold mining has caused pollution of water bodies in the mining communities. For five years, government has since been fighting this illegal mining called Galamse. But southeast of Ghana's mines, the story of Adan is different. Adan is known for the natural salt from the main water body in the area, Songo Lagoon. The Songo Salt Lagoon, originally a communal resource, is being claimed by multiple individuals and corporates, preventing indigents, especially women, who mine salt for their livelihood. As a result of competing interests, some indigents introduced a new system of salt winning called Achiapo. Similarly to Galamse, they claim portions of the lagoon by constructing ponds, dikes and wait to scoop up salt deposits. They siphon water from the main lagoon into their dikes as ponds to produce their salt. The salt lagoon produces varieties of fish during the raining season and produces salt during the dry season. But the illegal salt winning in the Songo Lagoon has made fishing in the raining season impossible because the ponds now serve as death traps for fish in the lagoon. For more than 30 years, governments have made several efforts to improve the commercial viability of the Songo Lagoon without much success. This left communities along the lagoon wallowing in poverty without pipe-borne water proper educational infrastructure and jobs. This is Akla Banya, where people have been displaced, property damaged. The impact is telling. Women and children seem to feel it more. Living by the sea has become a risk. For years, residents have been fighting hard to reclaim more land from the stream for habitation and commercial activity. But the reality is they can no longer contend with nature. The community is asking for a sea defense wall as a permanent solution. This is not peculiar to Aklapanya. Other areas along the coast near the lagoon like Anyamam, Woku Magbe, Goi, Lulunya, Kablevu are facing the same environmental and economic situation. Yet the Red Songo Salt Lagoon, which has the capacity of producing over 4 million tons of salt annually, enough to take care of West Africa's market and beyond, has not been able to produce any royalties to tackle many of these challenges. Ghana's salt production still stands at 2.2 million metric tons annually, which comes lower than the country's potential of producing 4 million tons of salt annually. This target is not being achieved due to underinvestment and the use of obsolete methods of production, according to experts. We have got a lot of uh, uh, lagoons, Songo lagoons, all over the world. And when you see how they have been developed, they have been developed and the people are enjoying the country is enjoying, the community, the owners are enjoying. Why, then why we? Should we continue in poverty? Should we change our lifestyle? History has it that Ghana has been producing and exporting salt as far back as the time of Western Saharan civilizations. Today, West Africa consumes over 1.5 million tons of salt annually. Ghana's annual cumulative salt exports to Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali and Nigeria altogether is less than 150,000 tons. Nigeria's huge market imports 80% of its salt needs from Brazil, an opportunity that Ghana's Songo salt could have benefited from. We went to see government and ask government to allow him to come and operate the lagoon. The government was not equipping it 
nothing. Production had fallen to all time low. Workers were not being paid on time. People who depended on the salt of, of the Songo salt to buy and sell throughout Ghana and into other parts in West Africa could not get the salt to buy. The local Achia Ghost also could only operate once or twice in a year because they depended on rainwater. And again, where they were able, they dug wells and drew water from the wells, which was unhygienic for making salt. So all this affected the economy of Adan. There was no job for our people. Every year, the paramount chief would have to plead to government and uh, heads of government and visiting ministers and plead with them to come and fix the Songo for us so that it would rejuvenate economic activity in Adan. The industry is fraught with obsolete and inefficient production methods leading to low yields and poor quality of produce. The situation the Paramount Chief of the area and its leadership says has been their major concern. <laughs> in an attempt to save the lagoon from total collapse the adult traditional council led by the paramount chief of adam nene abram kabwakoku the third wrote a proposal to the president seeking investors to help develop the lagoon later in november 2020 Parliament approved three mining lease agreements granting mineral rights to an investor, Electrochem Ghana Limited, to dig for, mine, and produce salt in the Dan Songo area. The Ministry, uh, through Minerals Commission, has given uh, uh, Electrochem the license to mine salt at Adan, of which the sector minister has duly visited. Led by an indigen of Adan, Dr. Daniel Macaulay he explains progress of work on salt production and other developmental projects within the communities along the lagoon. This has nothing to do with politics. It's all about development. I'm youth. You can walk around. Right now as we speak, over 200 youth are working in this concession. They will make money at the end of the day. They will be off the street. Anybody who is uh, really against this project or who would want to give bad publicity about project, I don't think the person loves Ghana. Which project will you get like this, which is going to employ thousand youth in this community and you give it bad, bad publicity? Where on earth? Then you don't love Ghana. Because every time we are crying that we need job, we need job, we need jobs. Job had arrived and because of somebody's selfish interest, we give bad publicity about this project. Then what about me, the investor? Who is about pumping $106 million in the first phase of this project? Then we will not uh, grow in this country. But it has not been easy because of competing interests and opposition. Some group of people say the government and the traditional council, led by the Paramount chief, have no right over leasing the lagoon without their approval. The group allegedly attacked and destroyed property belonging to the company, leading to the arrest of some of them. The paramount chief in Adan have no attestment of a lad of Adan. There is a document on it. Why he go and sign first as the owner? It's a flooding. I'm telling you honestly, it's a flooding. We write to a mineral commission that all those people write that 
the documents and they came to me. They are fake people. And there is a copy. There is a copy with me now. They are fake people because the property is not for them. The Mineral Commission, all documents that were produced from the presidency to the chief is totally wrong. From the, the, the president have given an authority that go and see the stakeholders that were stakeholders. The first principal stakeholder is the, the, the Libiwano, the prince of the lagoon. Some of the chiefs who now claim that the Songo lagoon has been spot and it needs to be repaired, they gave the land to some people to be doing uh, a chianko on the, uh, the top of the land. The Songo lagoon, as they claim it has spot, Nothing has spot from the Songo Lagoon. We are in court. That is the reason why we form association. Adan Songo Lagoon Association. I am the organizer at the same time, PRO. We are not going to agree because even if persuasions fail, force must be applied. We are not going to agree. We, the people who said we didn't agree, we will continue to go to court. And even if the Supreme Court of our land didn't see it that we are right, we will go to the world court. We followed due process, the application was duly gazetted, and then we went to look for the landowners, and then we served them. And then uh, they give, we gave them all the necessary documents that the law requires us to provide. So that is a surprise to us. Uh, the documents are there, you can verify them, check with us. The document went all the way to Parliament for ratification, and uh, we won't have sent anything to Parliament without going through the due process. Yes, but it, it, nothing stops members of the community or some opinion leaders or elders if they have issues to to bring it up but leadership of the traditional council say leasing of the lagoon was a decision by the entire council the message out there is that they are going to set songo but they are forgotten that this songo has been taken over by government where in law it does not belong to that dance it's really custom and tradition that we see also but by law, we don't own it. The property that they are working on uh, has that requisite uh, mandate from Minerals Commission. Uh, you, you can verify from the database of Minerals Commission. Uh, so they have that uh, uh, license to mine. The Minerals Commission uh, has given them, uh, and you know, per uh, Act 703 and the Minerals and Mining Act, the Minerals Commission recommends to the minister for minister also to sign. The minister has duly, upon the recommendation of Minerals Commission, signed all the needed uh, licenses for uh, the electric company. Nonetheless, a year on into the deal, Dr. Daniel Macaulay gives reassurances of his commitment to improve the viability of Songo. For now, we are increasing the production of salt, create jobs for the people, make the people of Adan part of this project because the sources of this mining will be the people, the community. But if we don't make the community as part of this project, it will not be successful. We are employing them, we are creating their own pans. The Galamse uh, pans they are doing, we are opening up for them, giving them a place to mine their salt and we are giving them ready market. We'll scientifically look at the way they produce the salt, so it will be um, a very quality, uh, good quality salt. So that is uh, what we are doing. Currently, we are finished with one community preparing their pans for them to produce salt. We are moving to another village to also prepare theirs for them, so that the whole village um, enjoy. We are not here also to take anybody's job. We are not here to impoverish the people. We are here rather to add to their lives. We are building toilets for them. We are even into schools. We are building two astroturf for them. We are beginning to train 10,000 uh, women uh, in this community in hairdressing, uh, sewing, food processing, soap, soap making and all that. According to the DCE of Adan West, the Songo Lagoon has been their only source of income running into the district. Since uh, about 10, 20 years ago, 
the the internet generated fund that we get from the Songo is going down because the the whole uh, project is uh, like it's going down because we are not mining salt again. It's going down. If you come to Adam West, about 60 percent of each internet generated fund is taken from the uh, from electrochem from Songo. So it is 60 percent. 40%. So if electrochem is not there, it means 40%. We are just 40%. If electrochem has come with the 60%, then we are getting 100%. So that is just the ratio. And that is dependent heavily on levies and other sources of income from the Songo Lagoon. Because the operations of the Songo Salt has gone down, they were not getting enough money. They were not getting money and there was not enough for development and other activity. The people in the area did not have jobs. Advisor of Mines to the Lands Minister, Benjamin Ayi, says it's time for the people of Adan to rally behind investors to manage Lagoon. I've seen the Adan story evolve over several years. We all agree that salt can become a big thing. It is not like some other minerals which can be depleted. We can virtually do it perpetually. And if you're able to do it right, it will generate benefits for the investor. It should generate benefits for the host community. It should generate benefits for the country at large. And we believe that that is possible. But how will SALT bring development to the adult community? So the Office of Administrator will have 50% of the mineral royalties and give 45% to the traditional authorities and 55% to the local district for development within that very district. And that is the one uh, um, aspect where the people within that locality, in this case, we are talking about other benefit through that. Now, the 20% allocation that goes into the mining community development scheme is, is another leg that they will benefit from. So. Um, and in practice, if they should pay mineral and royalties, we we'll have to establish a scheme called Mining Community Development Scheme, according to the Section 16 to Section 20, where we we'll have a, a committee called Local Management Committee to establish within that very district to uh, manage the um, development with the local. Uh, 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 local community. So much time has been wasted, although some indigents remain optimistic. It's left to be seen whether Electrochem Ghana Limited's work will impact Ada. I've been working here for 14 years, over 14 years now. There's no improvement. But I can see that uh, since this man has started with us, we have seen an improvement even in our payments uh, for the uh, 14 and, uh, years, ago, uh, years ago, I can see that our payment, even sometimes, it will, uh, the, uh, the, the payment will come, let's say, after two months, three months, that will be before our payment will come. But for this one, I can see the improvement that within a week, our money is being given out. Mm. And it, they, it, it has been a very great opportunity for us that if this business will be given to a person or someone who will hold on with this business, we'll, we'll be happy. I've been working here more than 15 years, but for the past, let me say, for the past 14 years, things were not good. Mm. Clearly, when we work, it takes more than a month before we will be paid once. Normally, we have something we call a coupon, and this is how it looks. Okay, so Any this is a coupon. push one truck mm. to the factory, they give you one of these. Okay. So the more you go, one cost six cities. Okay. As at now. That's a lot of money. No, it's not a lot because we use a lot of energy. You have to come here early in the morning, wait till three thirty or four o'clock. Then we have those who are in charge to allow us to get inside. Okay. So when we get inside, you have to look for where you get your salt and gather. After gathering the salt by using the shovel, then you have to start loading in the daytime. It gives us a lot of problems. Uh -huh. So you have to be taking medicines okay. before you can get the energy to do okay, the work. So on this note, so do you think at this point uh, 
old style of mining the salt or harvesting the salt needs to be improved upon? Yes, we like it this way because when it has been given to uh, machines to mine, we can't get this, uh, work to do. So we want it to be given to the investor as it, it has been said by Electrochem. Good, we like it. So if they have given the company to him and he's doing the new uh, improvement by arranging some of the pans that are not good, we will get new pans and we can work throughout the year. And also the payment, as he came, the payment has changed. In a week he pay us. But in the past, it takes a, about a month and all before we be paid. Can you hear me? You know what I mean? I've been here for more than 20 years. 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 So what he also said is that he has been working here for more than 20 years and that if someone that is an investor could take up this place and develop it for them, they will all be happy. Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, George Mrekuduka, called on all parties to come together to make good use of the vast natural resources to develop all communities along the lagoon and the country as a whole. Ada has been there all these years. We should ask ourselves, this 40 years spent, what have we got? out of the sorts that we have. If there is any misunderstanding, let us use the uh, measures enshrined by the constitution to address these uh, challenges. And I will urge the people of ADA to cooperate with Electrochem. Uh, we want to build local champions within the industry. We want people who abide by the laws of this country and mine and mine professionally, viably, responsibly for the future of this country. And I uh, would want to encourage uh, more people to get into the, uh, the arena uh, of salt industry. Uh, it's not a matter of only concentrating on gold, bauxite, manganese, or the already orthodox minerals that we have, but also to veer into the industrial minerals. He added, it is the responsibility of government through the Minerals Commission to invite investors to mine in the lagoon. When they start exporting, producing, and then the other byproducts that the salt can be used for, uh, when the figures start coming out, then what you have to ask yourself is, oh my God, if we've done this in the last six, seven, ten years, perhaps this is what we should have gotten as a nation. So you can imagine what we have lost in terms of royalties, jobs, maybe money from exports, and other things that the salt and the byproducts can be used for. So uh, at, at the stage where all these things, we start seeing the real benefits, that's when we can sit there and say, look, we've done so much damage to ourselves the last 10 years, 15 years, or whatever, until recently. So you only get to know how much you really lost uh, by looking at what will come out very soon in the next uh, year or two in terms of whatever proceeds, you know, jobs, etc. Even the jobs alone, the jobs alone that has been created, the infrastructure there speaks volume of what we've lost over the years. But we should be constructive. Uh, some of us are forward-looking. And let's look to the future. You are a journalist. I want you to come here month after month to see what is going on here. Our, our work will tell the story. I want our work to tell the story. If our work tells the story, then we know that, yes, we are telling the story. Not that we, we promise and we can't deliver. This is the place to deliver. What we are doing within five years, if the people of Adan can have patience, within five years, they will see that look, Adan will be a different place. My concentration is mostly on the youth. I want to see the mentality, the attitude of the youth in this place changed. That is what I want to see. It's all, it's all patience. It's all patience. I mean, if the people of Adan can be patient, this place will, will change. The whole terrain will change. <laughs>
We should put politics aside and develop our country. This has nothing to do with politics. Let's commend for the president to have given his support for this project. This is a huge project that can change Ghana.